Hi, I'm Serene. In the last five years, I've sold over a hundred million dollars in real estate. This is my partner, Jordan. Together, we find properties in the Los Angeles area to fix and flip. You won't believe some of the places we've seen and the characters we've met. Put it on the side. Hey, Serena. Uh, hello, how are you? Good, so what's up? Well, I went and bought a new stove to replace the stolen one. Yeah, that's some bullshit. The stagers are staging, yeah. as you can see. It looks good, looks just as good. You did yeah. well. Your balls came. Finally, someone found my balls. <laughs> They're not big enough. <laughs> There's a the photographer's coming in an hour. I need to get these guys to finish what they're doing. The cleaner left. The floors are filthy. Um, you know what the good news is? You're going on vacation. That's it. Yeah. So you get to enjoy yourself. Take over. <laughs> do whatever you yeah. want. You know what? Indulge. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah. I'm out of here. Lots of fun. Yeah. Sell the house. Get us our money. Let's move on. Brokers open tomorrow, 11 to 2, and then open house Saturday, Sunday. I heard tomorrow. enough. I believe in you. Hello. 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 Uh, this looks like where they drafted uh, the Declaration of Independence. You gotta put it in straight. You gave me a bulb that doesn't work. No, 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 no. You just don't do it right. From all the bulbs, you gave me a bulb that doesn't work. I just bought it from Home Depot. You gotta be kidding me. Here. Nothing is easy with you. You just like to make me work. What? Oh, it does work. Ah. My fault. So yeah, you did have to do it right. My fault. Somebody has to work. You guys keep taking off. There's nobody here. Do you even see them? The cleaning lady left. Your freaking electrician keeps getting lost at the Home Depot. I have to walk this off. <laughs> and this shit is still dirty. I told her three times to clean it. Look at the floors. She did a good job on the windows, but the floors are a mess. Like I said, she just left. She didn't say anything. She just indulge. left. Indulge. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Have fun with it. It's not enjoyable. Stay around. The cleaning isn't enjoyable. I'm out of here. Okay. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. Take care, everyone. Yeah. Like little stuff. Look at the blue tape is still there. I think if I know. You can fix it? Okay. Okay. No more cleaning lady, okay? No more. We don't have time for that. You guys seriously trying to interview me right now? The, you saw that Jordan left for vacation. You saw that there's nobody here working. I have no workers. I have stolen appliances. I'm not, I don't have time for this shit. The fucking pool's not even clean. I might as well jump in there and do it myself. I'm gonna go get my scuba equipment. I'll see you guys. What do you think? I oh. think... Jordan left his phone here. I think they're both good options. I don't think you can go wrong I'll with I'll ask Denise, or... just leave it like that and when the photographer comes, I'll ask her. Yeah, I broke the door down, so I'm gonna need someone to come fix the door. I couldn't get in the house, so I broke down the door. 
So I got here an hour ago, and of course, uh, there's issues. There were issues yesterday, too. The front door was put, Jordan decided to put a combo thing on there and then he threw away the box and the instructions and didn't program it. So I have no code for the front door. It keeps automatically locking, we can't get in the house. So it's, I just find it freaking hilarious that someone could come in here and steal all our appliances, but I can't get in my own house. So today we tried to go in the back door. Some dumb dumb put a different deadbolt and they put the bottom lock. So I only have the keys for the deadbolt. The bottom lock is locked and what are we gonna do? We can't get in the garage. We can't get in any windows. So I busted the door in. Now we're here. I'm gonna sell this house. So we got Lund closed, thank God. All this stuff happened right in the middle of the lockdown. I ended up having to actually get two buyers. One of them fell out because of their because of the whole thing. So uh, got it closed, sold it for list price in record time, which was fantastic. So me and Jordan are super relieved about that. And as far as our deal in Santa Monica goes, that turned into a complete shit show. We got money tied up there still, and we're actually in litigation. Things have changed. We got to do virtual tours before. We got to do all these different forms. We have to do all this stuff before they can get in the house. So sometimes it's good because you get rid of the tire kickers, but like, you know, a lot of people are frustrated. They're nervous. They don't know what to do. So just, just doing the best we can. I can only imagine. I mean, if someone wants to buy a property and they can't walk into it and, and walk it, I mean, that's that's frustrating. As soon as the lockdown order hit, I lost like nine escrows. We had nine people cancel. So it's just motivation to, to do that much more because we're gonna end this year breaking some records despite all this craziness. That's my goal. So the COVID situation pretty much took a crap on this entire economy. Um, our business, We've been doing a lot of emergency services, so we've been staying pretty consistent and actually busy. As long as we can walk these properties and, and as long as we can, you know, determine, you know, main points of, you know, construction defect or issues, then I don't have an issue to jump, jump back into it, but I definitely don't want another Santa Monica situation. Yeah, have you talked to the lawyer? I have these lawyers, man. They just want a lot of money for doing God knows what. Yeah, but we can't just leave it sitting there. We have a lot of money sitting there. I understand. So this is what I suggest. Let me speak with the lawyer and you find us our next deal and let's just keep it going. I sent you one the other day. You don't respond. And the lawyer emails you, you don't respond to him either. Respond to what? The emails he sends. I responded to your emails. You said nice. That's a response. For future projects for me and Jordan, right now what we're looking for, we're just looking for lower end flips. Uh, stuff that's less risky, stuff that we can get done really quickly, something that, you know, because we are still seeing multiple offers on properties in the lower end price ranges. Rates are like 2.75, they're ridiculous. We're just hoping for the best, but yeah, I definitely. Hey, watch where you're throwing stuff. So. All right, so I'm gonna work hard to find us our next deal. You're gonna work hard with that lawyer and you're gonna get our money, yeah? Please take us home now. What? We need to go home and do homework. I We've been here all day. I have to wrap this up. It's been here like 10 minutes. Let's go. I'm gonna talk to you later. <laughs> Kid. So we finished Lund. Woohoo. Uh, it took a while. Yeah? Sure did. Yeah. yeah. Are you sure it's done? <laughs> I hope so. The project. Tomorrow, just like I said yesterday and the day before. No. Probably like in a week's time. I mean, we are right there. So, I hope so for the new buyer. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> we bought it for 735. We spent like 150. 150,000, and we sold it for 1,225,000 dollars. So we ended up after all the fees, everything like that, around 300,000 profit. A lot of people told us not to do it. A lot of people told us we were crazy. They said that house is so messed up. You'll never. You'll be there for the rest of your life. You're gonna spend too much money but we did just fine, right?
we took a chance, we did it, we invested. I think we did pretty well, so should be proud of ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So on to the next one. Yeah. Mr. Bloombergstein. Mr. Bloombergstein. Hi, I'm Serene Dellinger. I'm here to see Stefan. Simon! You look great! Thank you, so do you. Thank you. This is my contractor, Jordan. Nice to meet you. C'est plaisir, Deborah. Vous êtes